Hey everybody, Scott Knife here. Just updated my EDC, just showing you what I got. This is my Grip Pillion, serving me faithful. I like it a lot. So I decided that this is going to be my EDC knife. I was at one point uh, carrying a Spider Co. Delica, but it's nothing like a Grip Pillion. Nothing like a Grip Pillion. Um, also, I believe in having a backup knife at all times. This is my K Bar Large TDI. picture of it. Very nice knife. It has the khaki handle. That's what I call it. So I believe it's desert sand or something like that. But it's also a very sharp knife. I like it a lot. I like the sheath that came with it. Shakurex style sheath. It's just basically a friction holder. You can mount it this way. Have it hanging from your pack or your chest. You can also have it mounted in the small of the back. It's also like a law enforcement knife for cops. I love it a lot. I'm pretty sure if someone came at me and I had it like this or had it in the reverse grip, I'm pretty sure they'd run away pretty quick. Because I will slice and dice. I'm not promoting it. Do not fight with knives. Do not fight, period. Walk away. Throw rocks. Throw heavy objects. Just do not let it escalate to deadly force option. Um, I've been changing it up. I do have another knife that I carry to work with me. It's the Kershaw Ripcord. It's a very nice knife. With that mirror polished black looking chrome blade. I love it. It's also a very sharp knife. If I can get the paper held correctly. So, I mean, I love this knife. The downside is, it's a sheath right here. Um, I like to mount it on my chest like this. Um, and also, you have to point the blade at you when you shut it. It takes practice, which I haven't had. That's one reason why I'm probably not loving this knife as much as I normally would have. Because you have to push this dot right here into this dot right here and push down and you can just close it like that because I actually did it right it mounts on the belt right here you stick your belt stick through that gap and clip and then it's secure because you can see it right there um, I like the ripcord it's just not my style I'm probably going to sell it if anyone wants to make an offer you're welcome to um, I do everything through PayPal very neat knife. I wish this was not op was opened so everyone could see the blade coming out. Cause that would look kind of scary if you had a knife on your waist and pulling it out like that. It's easy to do. Once you get the hang of it, I have my uh, tactical lanyard on. I'm Wilson County Combat. Um, it's OD green and black. Matches my grip pillion. Grip pillion. I love the knife. I just can't get rid of it. I thought about selling it, but then it's old faithful. It's strong, locks up tight. I love my K-Bar. I mean, it's awesome. Look at that TDI symbol on there. I'm a knife dealer. I can get anything you want. Do this through PayPal. Name a knife, and I bet you I can get it for less than a retail for And sell it to you. Um, overall, the sheath is pretty awesome on it. You got these straps, which you can configure in many different ways. K-Bar gave me an Allen head wrench, and all this other stuff so I can adjust everything so it can be mounted anywhere. K Bar actually makes a knife that uh, is like a boot knife. This is a officer's pocket knife. Uh, not pocket knife, but like a self defense knife. For some reason, God forbid their knife, get, their uh, gun gets taken away from them. I love the color. It's coyote brown, excuse me, not desert sand. It's coyote brown. Um, like other things, K Bar is known for its durability. It's there's not any move. I mean, it's a pig's I mean, you can you can do anything with this knife. Uh, let's see if I can do something real quick. If I do it wrong, it's going to make me look like a retard. I'm going to try to slice like this and go through it. Look at that. Imagine this coming at you at an angle. Right about here. No, that would not be fun. Um, you can also use the back of it as a percussion device. Pretty solid. Um, I usually carry this in the small of my back with my coat on over it, and I don't want to escalate to violence. I've never had anyone confront me to where I need to use my knife. Usually, it's just let's just not go into physical confrontation. Um, I really like the rip cord, just just because the pull factor. Um, but I would not carry it that often. It's more like a dagger for stabbing people or other objects. 
it's cool how it goes into the cheese, and I'm trying to line it up perfect so you can see. Crap, my video camera went sleep. Okay, I'm using a webcam. You push down on it, you can watch it slide in. Slowly but surely. I didn't have it lined up perfectly. Let's try again. I'm trying to get on the camera so you can see perfectly. Put it in there flat. It slides right in. Very secure. And speaking of secureness, this large TDI isn't going nowhere. You can fling it at things. I mean, it's solid. I like the blackout blade on it. I like it a lot. It does hold dirt and debris on it. If you're not careful, if you don't clean it off quick enough. I mean, I'm a very practical knife person. And I carry one for utility, hence the grip pillion, which is actually a tactical folder, but I use it for utility work. And also, I carry a self defense knife since I don't have my carry permit yet because I'm 19. No, excuse me, I'm 18. My birthday's coming up. But I can't carry concealed anything in Tennessee where I live. So I'm allowed to carry knives. So I have my work knife, which is this right here, which is I love it. And then I have my self defense, God forbid I ever have to use it, which I really don't want to have to use it. My large TDI knife. The TDI knife, you know, it also comes in small small little TDI knives and they have this neck knife which is a latch di last ditch knife which is what 10 12 bucks but god forbid you never want to use that in combat or anything uh, I also carry this little knife every so often let me look at my little desk still curse all time I've had this thing forever and it's dull very dull I need to sharpen it um I can get you anything I have I'm looking at my catalog. I can get CKRT, K Bar, Kershaw, um, Uzi, Shrade, Frost, Kissing Crane. I can get Boker. I can get Microtech. I can get um, everything. You name it, I can get my hands on it. I can get SOG. I can K Bar. I mean, I can get anything. So, I mean, if you guys ever want anything, I will sell it to you below the retail for sure. Um, I do it all the way through PayPal, so everything's safe. Um, basically that's what I was just talking about with my little update on my EDC and then I sell stuff I mean that's how I get my knives but I love the color of that edge pretty, pretty nice the K-Bar large PDI is also I don't like saying this made in Taiwan I'm not a big Taiwan person but quality earns my respect no matter where it's made Griptilian Blue Cat class, made in the USA. Okay, including the lanyard made in the USA. Tactical shop. Kershaw Ripcord, made in the U.S. of A. That's how all my knives are, except for some of them. Also, can get Kissing Crane, Boker, Cage, anything. Um, right now I have a straight out front. I'm about to get up and run and grab it. So, please pardon my dirty room. Also, at the moment, I have straight out the front. Let me take the safety off. That's what that is. This one's for sale on eBay right now. Um, I like it. Very fast. Out the front deployment. And when I say it's sharp, let me find my little piece of paper I cut. It's sharp. Um, these normal retail for around fifty bucks. I'm selling mine for forty bucks, forty two bucks, something like that on eBay. I mean you can't beat a more rugged out the front knife. There's no up and down side to side movement. This is basically like a virtual fixed blade knife. Very quick, very sharp, different ways of holding it. If you're interested, message me. Um, if not, that's cool. Thank you for your view. Post some comments on what I got and what you think about my strategies. Um Thank you so much, and I guess I'll talk to y'all later, or whenever I decide to post another video. Thanks, have a nice day.